Audi is a brand that defines luxury through technology, so you can bet that its new flagship, the 2019 A8L, the most Audi of all Audis, is jam-packed with all sorts of cool tech. Grab Shotgun with me and we'll dig right in. Every part of the A8L's experience has been touched or enhanced in some sort of a way by an advanced technology. And that starts in the engine room where we have a three liter twin scroll turbocharged engine that makes 333 horsepower and 369 pound feet of torque. Now that V6 is mated with an eight speed automatic transmission that sends power to the standard Quattro all wheel drive system. It's a pretty standard fare Audi setup turbocharged engine, quattro all-wheel drive. But as I believe, this is the first production version of Audi's 48 volt mild hybrid system. And it's a very mild hybrid system. It doesn't turn the wheels like a Prius does, but it does actively generate energy when you slow the car down and it saves that in a 48 volt system. Now the higher voltage means that it's allowed to do things like make better use of the stop start system. So when you come to a stop at a traffic light, when you go to pull away, it starts right up. There's no sort of hiccup there. It's a really smooth operation. The mild hybrid system also powers accessory functions, things like the standard air suspension. And with the extra voltage, it can make ride height adjustments a lot faster than a comparable 12 volt system could. It can also react to changes in the road conditions a lot faster as well. In the future, the 48 volt system will even enable some really cool features like an active electromechanical suspension. And that'll have some cool tricks like the ability to actively resist roll when you go into a corner, or even when you're coming up to a bump, it can raise the ride height a little bit and then just pull the wheels up over the bump for a smoother ride. I was able to test that system in Europe and it sounds pretty cool and it feels even better, but it's not gonna be available for the States until next year. As it sits right now though, the A8 is still a very comfortable car. On the road, it feels very smooth and it still manages to be quite nimble because we've got an optional dynamic all-wheel steering upgrade. And what that's gonna do is add the ability for the rear wheels to steer either counter or complementary to the front wheels. And that means that at high speeds when you're changing lanes, the car feels more stable and at low speeds, it feels a little bit more nimble and agile. In fact, the all-wheel steering system means that this long wheel-based A8, the longest version of Audi's sedan platform, actually has a smaller turning radius than an A4, that's impressive. However, the V6 engine does sometimes feel a little sleepy, particularly at low speeds around town and in stop and go traffic where that stop start system is good, but it's not perfect yet. Audi says that they are bringing some sort of a V8 version to the market and you can expect a plug-in hybrid version to follow, but they're not gonna give us any details yet about what to expect and when to expect it. Now in the cabin, comfort is key is still the theme here. It's a very well-appointed cabin, some really nice materials, and some materials that I didn't think I would like, but I kind of do. There's a lot of gloss black on this center console and this long sort of horizontal area on the dashboard, and that gets really fingerprinty. You're gonna wanna make sure that you carry around some sort of a microfiber towel to wipe off the screen and the dashboard, or it's gonna drive you nuts. You're gonna spend a lot of time touching because you've got the new MMI touch response system in the dashboard. That's a two screen touchscreen interface that's new for the 2019 model year. It's got a really responsive setup and some nice haptic feedback. In front of us, we've got the second generation of Audi's virtual cockpit with its higher resolution screen and faster response. And we're not even gonna get into all the cool stuff in the back seat just yet because we've got a whole separate video dedicated to all the technology in this car. You're gonna to wanna to check that out. We can't spend all day talking about the dashboard. Besides, we've gotta talk about some of the safety technology. This is one of the most advanced sensor packages on an Audi vehicle yet. We've got a total of 24 sensors around the car, everything from short range radar to long range radar, cameras, ultrasonic sensors, even Audi's first application of a LiDAR sensor. And what that's gonna allow it to do is get access to the most advanced parts of Audi's driver A technology suite. Now here in the States, that means that we've got a feature called advanced 
lane keeping assist. It's kind of like Audi's traffic jam assist system on steroids, only this one works at highway speeds. And the way that it works is it uses cameras and radar sensors to watch the car ahead of you to maintain a safe following distance. It also kind of locks in on that and keeps you centered behind that car. Meanwhile, it's also watching the lane markers to keep you centered in that as well. And it gives you a really strong sense of steering assist. If you're not paying attention, you can actually kind of feel the car pull you around a corner. But it is a hands-on system, so you have to keep your hands on the wheel. We even find some advanced technology in the exterior design, which is still classic Audi, but a little bit more geometric, a little more sharp for this generation. If you get the lighting package, you get an OLED light display out back, which looks really cool and has some nice animations at nighttime when you approach the vehicle. And up front, we have Audi's Active Matrix headlights that can actually steer light around corners and dip light around cars that are coming the other direction so you get high beam levels of illumination without blinding the car ahead of you. Trouble is, they're not strictly legal in the United States yet, so Audi's disabled that feature. If you check the box for active lighting, you get the active lights, but they just act like regular high beams. When the law changes, Audi's gonna push a software update that's gonna make these lights act like they should, and it's gonna be a really cool feature. It's just no real way of knowing how long you're gonna have to wait for that. Now, overall, this car is a very nice package. There's so many smart features, good performance, and advanced technologies baked into this car that just really make it something special. The way that Audi approaches luxury with intelligence and with tech smarts is kind of unique to the brand and something that should be appreciated. The 2019 Audi A8L, and we only get the long wheelbase here in the state, starts at around $85,000, figure $86,000 including destination charges. But as we have it loaded up here with all of the driver aid features, cabin technology and luxury amenities that we can cram into this bad boy, we're looking at about $125,000 as tested. That's pricey, but it's par for the course when you play at this level. Of course, that begs the question of would I rather drive this thing or be driven in its really awesome back seat? To find out more about all the technology in this car, check out our companion video. But before you go, hit the subscribe button for even more cool car videos from the Roadshow crew.